video for you guys so I thought it'd be super fun because you know it's winter and I think a lot of us are spending more time indoors and the best way to spend time indoors is to throw yourself a little me myself and I day or a pamper spa day I personally love doing this so I thought it would be really fun to share with you guys some DIYs on how you can kind of pamper yourself like with some DIY products like what's more fun than that so last January I actually showed you guys my pamper routine so I will list it in an I card above so you guys can go check that out and I'll put it in the description box below and that video kind of includes a couple of DIY ideas as well so before we get started if you guys are not receiving notifications regarding my new uploads make sure to go onto my channel page click the bell icon and check off the little box that will notify you every time I upload a new video and of course if you guys are new here it would mean so much to me if you would down below and click that subscribe button to become a part of the Mandarin fam you will not regret it and without further ado you guys let's just jump right into this video for the first DIY, I'm going to show you guys how to make these peppermint shower tablets. These are amazing for if you have any congestion in your nose. So for this recipe, this makes approximately five little tablets. So what you're going to need is four tablespoons of cornstarch and a tablespoon and a half of citric acid. Then add little bits of coconut oil at a time. You don't want to add too much because then your mixture will be too liquidy, so you just want enough to make the dry ingredients clumpy. So once you have something like this as the consistency, you are going to add a lot of peppermint oil. So I am using this one with the dropper and I completely filled a dropper with the oil and added all of it to my mixture. With a pair of gloves and a brownie pot mold, I am just taking small pieces of the mixture and adding it to the bottom of this mold. And after I've used up all of my mixture, leave it in the refrigerator for approximately five minutes or until it is completely hardened, and that is it for these puppies. All you gotta do is pop them out of the mold and they are ready for the shower. I absolutely love peppermint. Peppermint is my favorite thing in the entire world just because the smell is amazing and it's also great for headaches and congestion. So the next DIY is very simple. I'm going to show you guys how to make these green tea ice cubes. These are the perfect at home facial. So all you're going to need is some room temp water and a bag of green tea. So I steeped about a cup of water for these ice cubes. Now guys, room temperature water is the best for green tea because you get the most antioxidants, caffeine, everything out of it. So let that steep completely until you have this kind of color to the green tea and you're going to pour them into some ice cube molds and after frozen all you have to do is apply them to your skin it is very cold but what's great about this treatment is ice is super good for closing any large pores and a green tea is full of antioxidants that are great for your skin and underneath your eyes the next DIY I actually filmed before Christmas and because I got sick I never got to post this so this couldn't be any more perfect to share with you guys. This is a DIY shaving cream. So all you're going to need for this is some shea butter. Shea butter is a little bit harder in its natural form, so you may want to melt it using a double boiler beforehand. So I just added two tablespoons of that, about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil. Now with my spoon, I'm pretty much just mashing everything together to the best of my ability, then adding some cornstarch to the mixture. And you will only need about a tablespoon, two tablespoons, really depends. To give this shaving cream a scent, I went with lavender because it is very relaxing. I love the smell of lavender. After you put all the ingredients together, you are going to whip them all together using preferably a mixer, but I went with my frother because it was all I had. I know, I don't have a mixer, it's a little weird. But this worked pretty well and I got the consistency that I wanted with some hard work and patience. So it should be more of a thicker paste consistency. It's not like your typical aerosol can really foamy shaving cream, but it applies so buttery, it's super moisturizing and your razor blade will glide so nicely over the shaving 
shaving cream. I honestly prefer this over anything else in the entire world. And of course, after shaving, never forget to moisturize for those nice and shiny, moisturized, healthy legs. And the last DIY is if you have stinky feet. I know this is kind of a weird DIY, but honestly, this is a lifesaver. So all you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol and some tea tree essential oils. Now rubbing alcohol obviously kills bacteria and tea tree oil is an antibacterial as well. So the two of them together make such a wonderful mixture. So I just added this into a spray container, shook it all together, and I'm just applying it onto my feet. Now this is just for example, because my feet don't really stink at the moment, but this comes in so clutch when your feet are smelly AF. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and found it helpful. Go down in the comment section below and let me know which one of these you would absolutely love using. Personally, I am in love with the DIY shave cream. It is amazing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And as always, you guys, I love you all so incredibly much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Drive